Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode. We've got three races left. We go into Phoenix today. After a max points day at Atlanta, we only trimmed it down to 19. Of course, Tony Stewart finished second with two laps led, so we only gained 10 points on him. But most importantly, we gained points on him. So with three races left, like I said in the last video, it's close, man. In the next two races, Phoenix today and Rockingham next week, we got to get ourselves at least even with them. That way we can go into Homestead, hopefully win the race and win the championship. I definitely don't want to be in that situation where I'm rooting for him to, you know, lose spots or whatever. I just want to be able to go in there, and if I beat him, I win. That That's all I want. So we'll go ahead and hop into it here. Yeah, honestly, I don't, uh, I don't think it really matters here what we bring. Let's bring the top ones since it's fresh. Look at that. Look at that consistent engine power. 86, 85, 85. We'll take 86. Why not? And, uh, oh, man. I guess for the downforce, I'm going to save this 86. It's probably going to have to go. It's probably going to have to stretch to Homestead. So we'll go with 82 today. We'll get a little bit out of this one. Joe Moore and Barney Hall from the beautiful Arizona desert at the One Mile Phoenix International Raceway for today's Checker Auto Parts 500K. What sets this track apart? This can be a very fast racetrack, but due to its low degree of banking, these cars can get a little loose coming out of the corners and to make it even more difficult for the drivers, every turn is a little bit different than the one before it. 2002 was a breakout year for Kurt Busch and his Roush Racing Team. That it was. With three wins and ten top ten finishes, he showed that he's one of the rising stars in NASCAR. In 1992, Kyle Petty enjoyed one of his finest seasons in Winston Cup with a fifth place points finish, two wins, and five front row starting spots. And he followed that up with another fifth place points finish the next year. But after that, he struggled for a long, long while, reaching a career low of 43rd place after the 2001 season. The 83 car has a string of top fives going. That is one heck of an accomplishment. His crew has got to be fired up. We should see another great run from him in this one. Well, I might regret this decision. Here's the starting line. It's kind of come to that awkward point in the season, the end of the season now, where it's like, oh, do I still start from the back like I have most of the season? Well, I say yes, because I'm here for a challenge. I'm here for a good time. I'm also probably here to get pissed off some. So, Tony Stewart starting on pole. Hopefully, we see him before the end of this race. 78 laps to get it done. That's not a too terribly long race. 78 laps is a fair amount. But for Phoenix, mm, this car is pretty quick, though. I'm, I'm pretty confident in it. I, uh, it just obviously is. You know, it's, it's kind of a short track, so we're just going to try to take it easy here. But, um, yeah, it's going to be kind of hard to haul ass past people. Like, say, when I, uh, oh, well, I mean, that wasn't too hard. Use grass a little bit. <laughs> I was thinking of like Richmond, you can kind of really like almost use the half of the apron almost. You can just slide on past them, but we've already made it inside the top 30. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, Christian. I'm so sorry. Turn one is the only bad part about this track. It's not really a track, it's just it's just the game. Like Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you, ultimate best friend Kyle Petty, for hitting the brakes a little bit. Turn one's the only damn problem, man. I just what the hell is that supposed to mean? I just it, it it's uh it's very weeble wobbly. But that's okay. Oh oh my slide in. Jesus. I was like four spots all in one right there. Yeah, it's still like it's almost like turn three here is like turn one at Rockingham, which we'll see next week. Or next next race. You won't you won't it won't take a whole week for you, but I always say next week since you know in game week but anyways oh Johnny come on there's a lot of room up there buddy yeah I don't know why the AI check check up a lot in turn three uh, I don't know if it's so much of an AI thing it's more of a I just balls the walls it off in the corner but they definitely check up really early in turn one at, at uh, Rockingham but yeah they I still feel like they're a little early on the break in, in turn three but man we can just haul ass in there five laps man not even 13 we got some winners up here, man. Kenny Wallace and this guy. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to use you up. That's Dave Dunn. I knew that. 
So I got on the brakes. That's the only other thing. When you carry out, carry so much speed off in the corner, man. Sometimes when you go to hit the brakes, it does one of two things. It either like hooks a left or hooks a right. Unfortunately, it hooked a right. It hooked a right into Dave Dunn. Apologies, Dave. Oh, that's Bobby, man. I didn't recognize the paint scheme. What's up, Bobby? You don't see red on the 18 very much. Hey, Dale. Would you like to pull down in front of me again? Fuck. I blame you. All right, Dale. <laughs> Poor Dale. Almost had himself a championship last season, but uh, Phoenix, man. Phoenix was the race. Phoenix was the turning point. Uh, actual fuel miles race, sort of, kind of. It kind of was for me. Uh, I definitely thought I had to save a lot more fuel, and I ended up did saving some fuel, but uh, it came down. One of the closest finishes probably we've had in NASCAR out. Thunder 2004. Ultimate best friend, Matt Kenson, thank you. All right, well, we've cracked the, uh, the, the top ten. Now I just got to weasel our way through here. These cars players. are a little bit faster than uh, old Dave Dunn and uh, <laughs> a bit of quality back here, so I'll try to weasel, up, weasel my way through here. I also like to block more. Blame Ryan. He's got to keep on pitching, man. We just can't go to the wall and then drive like normal people. Nope, can't do that. Oh, look at that drive off the corner. Oh, it's getting snug. Oh, sorry, Jeff. Didn't even put you in the wall. I don't know. You kind of put yourself in the wall. I didn't hit you. Didn't also, I also didn't give you a lot of room, but oh well. All right, top five, man. Tony. It looks like Tony's on it, man. We definitely got to get up there. And A, beat him. B, make sure we lead more laps in him. I told y'all once, I'll tell you again, man. Five points. Every point matters. But those those bonus points for leading laps, they are huge this time of the season. I mean, think about it. Think of how many times we led the most laps. It's definitely been a handful of times. And we're only separated by 19 at this point. So, there you go. Turn. Oh, oh, we there. We there. Oh, I gotta stop using. I gotta stop getting close to that curb. Okay. Yeah, thing. It's, it's very slippery going off into every corner here. There you go, top three. Don't look in your rear view, Tony. I'm coming, buddy. Oh, I'm coming. Man, it's getting to the point, man. I just like I can't. I can't get through the corner without sliding. Turn three. I kind of like. I don't know. I can kind of get through there, like I did there. I mean, that wasn't too bad. But turn one, man. I just feel like. I'm giving up so much damn time there because I can't get through there without sliding. Hey, I mean, watch this. I mean, this is like all I can do. It's just, it's a tight corner, really. You're, you're hauling ass off in there. It's hard to get it slowed down without just the rear end coming right around. But turn three is where we're where we're getting our, uh, as the as the kids are saying these days, where we're earning our bread. Oh goodness. Hey, Mark. Nice to see you today. Um. Yeah, you're kind of in the middle of this title fight right now. I hope you know. Um, if, if you don't mind. There we go. Man, my right front's already red. That's it's really unfortunate. Damn it, Mark. You just couldn't make it easy, could you? Oh, boy. Now lap traffic. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. The good thing is we're close to the pit window. Ideally, we want to go past 25. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mark. Damn it, man. I'm having a rough time here. Oh, I'm on. I am on ice. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm trying. Like I'm, I, I'm even drifting on the straightaways, man. Oh my lord. All right. I think I gotta come down. Holy fuck. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm 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 ready. Got one outside. You just lost third. Hey, you're not the one who has to fix that mess. Take it easy. Oh Fuck. I don't wanna talk about it. I don't want I don't wanna talk about it. I I I probably I, okay. In this game when like fifteen years old, it just stuck me. Realistically, I probably would have like hit it, but I would have, you know, kind of slipped and just kind of kept on going and wouldn't just stop me in my damn tracks. Thanks to the game for giving me a caution, though. Appreciate it. Yes, I'd like to pin under the caution. Holy shit! I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna put a. Oof, that's a bad idea. I could totally throw the balance off of it. Honestly, if this doesn't totally work out the way I, I think it probably won't, 
what I think I'll probably do is we're gonna take a take a, a note from Charlotte. I'm gonna take that wedge back out, and then I'm gonna put some tire pressure in it. Cause that's what I did at Charlotte, and it just tightened up the car. What the fuck? Outstanding, man. My pit crew is ready for anything. Oh, until he. <laughs> oh, brother. Well, I'm not sure whether to be proud or upset, but, um, yeah. Well, I gained spots, so good job, everybody. All right, well, we got a couple lap cars. We don't make a lot of adjustments. This is the uh, first time in a, in a minute that he made, actually made a wedge adjustment, so. Hopefully, this is going to do a lot better things for the long run. I Hopefully, it doesn't kill the short run because we were really fast. We're going to find out. I like, it was like... Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I sent it. It's it's gonna be full send while we got traffic here and while it's bunched up. I gotta get to Tony Stewart. Gotta get to Tony Stewart. Where the fuck is Tony Stewart at? Tony Stewart's not up here anymore. What the hell? Ooh, what's up? Yeah, Mark Martin's the leader now. What? Tony, where'd you go, brother? There's nobody sitting on pit road, I don't think so. I don't know. I guess he just did something funky there. I guess I don't know. Maybe his pit crew um, slipped trying to pit their invisible car too. Well, new leader. Um, yeah, let me let me get some laps left. There we go. There's five bonus points. Very crucial bonus points. Yeah, Tony Stewart's not in the top five. That's good. We got one blowing up. Oh, it's Kenny Wallace. No, Kenny. Well. I don't, you know, I don't know why, but I feel like half the time I do stupid shit in this game, I get rewarded for it. S something happened to Tony Stewart to the point where he fell out of the lead uh, on the in the pit stops, and I ended up, you know, getting to the lead, and now I'm driving away from everybody for now. Uh, yeah, for now. Yeah, this car is really good for like the first ten laps, and after that, man, hold hold on. I just, like once again, it's like I'm driving the. Uh, what outlaws sprint car game? I mean, it's just like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. Right, left. <laughs> it's trying to keep the damn thing straight. But that uh, that wedge adjustment, I gotta say, so far, most importantly, let me tell you this. Most importantly, when you make a little adjustments like that, it usually likes to ruin it. Like it'll just ruin the whole balance of the car, and you just like won't turn anymore. But it didn't do that. I think it actually helps snug it up the way I want it to, so it's still loose, but it's I think it's more manageable. We're really gonna figure out how how, uh, how much better of adjustment it is here in probably the next 15 laps. Oh man, we got a load of cars on pit road. I mean, shoot, I guess I guess the pit window is open to go the rest of the way. I guess that'd be a rough time to pit if it uh you can't make it from here. Boy, now we got a cluster. Everybody just came out of pit road. That's even more thick back here. At least some of these guys are on freshies, so they might be able to drive away. Probably not, but we put six seconds on Ryan Newman. I'm a little disappointed, man. I wanted to just square up with Tony Stewart and see what he had, but uh, I don't know. Oh, there goes the right front. All right, by about this time, I was drifting everywhere. Um. I mean, I still kind of am, but I think it's more manageable. I think it is. I don't know. We'll see. I'm about to lose two more tires. Oh, my God. I got to stop doing that. I love how it hits that curb. I just... That's my curb impression. Pulls, pulls red curb impression in comments below. Ouch. All right. Well, we're down to, we're down to three tires. Just need to hit that, that left rear red. And once again... I will tell you, it's not as bad. Not as bad as the last run. It's bad, but it is not as bad. Alright, yeah, I think it's time for me to get some pits. As much as I'd love to stay out here a little bit longer and get through this next wave of lap traffic, yeah, I'm gonna come on in. And this time, I'm gonna loop it apparently. Fuck me! Thanks, asshole. 
God, if a thing would just like drive straight for once in his damn life. I even backed it down, turned left, and it just kept on turning left. What the hell? Great camera, by the way, EA. Great cam. Awesome cam. Yes, I'm gonna pit under caution. What the damn hell? All I had to do was make one pit stop. Alright. Oh, here we go again. Hey, man. My crew can do anything. Look at this. Prepared for anything. I'm so proud of them. Yeah, pull out defenders a little bit. We're gonna lose some spots. There goes Mark. Stands irrelevant. Ooh, man. That said 13 seconds. I, I think it's a little skewed. Yeah, Tony Stewart isn't on this list. Where, where did Tony Stewart go? Is he hiding from us? Is he skirt? I'm seventh. Ultimate best friend Johnny Benson is going to let me over, right? Okay, not quite. I didn't expect that. Oh, there's Tony Stewart. Hey, Tony. Yeah, we got to go to the front, Tony. Or, well, I got to go to the front. You can go fuck yourself. Well, while I'm on freshies, I'm getting the hell out of here. Ryan. I think Ryan's pissed. Oh, man. There's nothing nothing better than having fresh tires and NASCAR Thunder 2004. Let me tell you. It's really great being able to not almost wreck as bad. Ultimate best friend, Matt Kansas. How we doing? I'm just going to send it right here and try to get by McMurray. Or I can just use him up. Sorry. All right, Craven. Oh, I'm in the lead. How did that happen? Who's the leader? Um, Ricky, Ricky Craven. What? Ricky, why are you out here? Oh, he probably still has yet to pit. Michael Waltrip. Oh, oh man, don't mind if I do, Jeff. Man, he left the water open for me. Hell yeah. And we got Jimmy and Kurt up here, who are lap down cars. I guess they already hit pit road. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's tough. Man, everybody blocking it up. Kurt, you're gonna get sent one of these days. Like one of these days, I'm not racing for a championship. I'm just gonna send your ass so hard. Send your ass back to wherever the hell you came from, Las Vegas. All right. Um. Oh man, we might be able to go the rest of this race without hit lap traffic. Um. Tony Stewart still not in the top five. Oh man. We've got we've gotten pretty lucky today. Oh, man, I even forgot about that. We might be able to get a max points day. It wasn't looking like that there for a minute, but... Oh, man, we're pulling away, man. We're good on tires. We got a handful of laps left. And Tony Stewart is nowhere to be found inside the top five. Oh, man. Here we go. White flag. We just we had to hit some lap traffic before the end of this thing. I don't even know who this is, but I don't even want to pass it. Doug! It looks like we've already met. What's up, Doug? I'm just going to stay behind Doug. I don't need to pass him. I'm going to spare you this one time, Doug, just because we're cool. Oh, man. We're going to do it. This this is a huge race, man, for our championship hopes. I'm just going to say that. We don't know where Tony Stewart's at, but... Back to back in Phoenix, man. Oh, we got Cup Doug there at the end. Hell yeah, man. An absolutely... Huge race for our championship hopes. It all comes down to see where Tony Stewart finished, man. And now with this, we've got two races left. But we got to see where we're at in the championship standings. Hell yeah. Yes. Is this, is this three in a row? I think it's just three in a row. I don't know if I've ever done that in my career. I like to think so, but I might not have. Anyways, this is a couple in a row. That's all I know. We're hitting... Uh, we're, hitting, we're clicking off some wins. The max point days at the right time, man. And we're making Tony Stewart. We're forcing Tony Stewart to do good things week in and week out. That's how I like it. I don't know if we're going to take over the points lead. I think I probably will, honestly, after this race, which is huge. We're going to have to figure out Rockingham. But if we get through Rockingham with the points lead, oh, boy. We're going to be living good in Homestead. Take another one of them Phoenix trophies. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, well done, boys. All right, Ryan Newman's uh, Ryan Newman's big pass. That's cool. Phoenix Road Course, cool. I've got that unlocked on another account, I think. Up to $34 million in the bank. Good holy lord. Now, where did Tony Stewart finish? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Not in the top ten. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. 28th. That... 
that's a huge blow right there. 28 laps led. He got caught a lap down. I'm not sure how. Major championship implications in Phoenix. Wow. Moment of truth. Mm, 82 points. Damn. Tony Stewart's in trouble. Two races left. Can he make up 82 points? Mm, I don't know. But we're sitting good. Two races left. We go on a Rockingham. Oh, shit. Well, there you have it. Major championship implications for Tony Stewart. We've got two races left in the season. We go on to Rockingham next. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. It's fun as always. And we'll see you in Rockingham.